Hey guys, Nevin here with EcoClean. In this video, I wanted to talk about power washing courses and power washing education. You know, things like the uh, the Hughes Convention in Atlanta, although that's online now. Um, and I want to talk about, is it a good investment? Is it something that you should be investing in? And I, this is one of those things where I have mixed emotions about. I, I, I can look at it from both perspectives. The first way I look at it and say, if you're broke and you're starting at the bottom, don't stress over it. And the reason I say not to stress over if you're at the bottom is because you've got guys like Rob Anderson, John Lang, uh, there's a couple other guys out there, really good YouTubers who, who put out really good content. You know, they, they teach you about the different surfactants you can use, you know, the different kinds of apple wash, lemon boost. Um, they, they talk about the different vendors that are available out there, you know, power wash store, Southeast soft wash. Um, and you're able to get all of this information for free on YouTube. Now, I also think that if you're at a stage where maybe you're doing consistently above four or five hundred dollars a day, maybe you're even doing a thousand dollars a day, you know, you're doing three houses a day and the money's there, I don't think it would be a bad idea to go in. And, and Raymond Burke has uh, Spray Wash Academy, and Spray Wash Academy is an extremely reputable company. Lots of power wash people uh, rely on them, and, and I'm a big fan of Raymond Burke as well because. Um, you know, I'm in the Spray Wash Academy on uh, on Facebook, and, and in my opinion, that's the best Facebook group there is for the power washing community. And the reason I say that is because Spray Wash Academy, they're not trying to sell you shit. Nobody's trying to sell you on why you should go with their marketing package, or, or they're not trying to push EBC. You know, they're not trying to push all this shit that you don't really need. Or maybe in some cases you could use it, but they don't try to sell you anything. And, and they really, there's a lot of like minded people in that group. Where you can learn a lot of shit. Now, now, granted, there are a lot of like old heads in there, who who kind of have a big ego. So when a, a newbie comes in or a young guy comes in, and you ask a basic question or, or a beginner type question, they're all going to get pissed off, and they're all going to, not all of them, but a lot of people in there, and they kind of make it hostile. Uh, but there are still, if you can filter through all that and you've got thick skin, you can get a lot of good information in there. Or if you go to the group and you go to the search, uh, the search tab, you can search almost any question that you have it's probably been asked a couple times and you can go through and look and you can go look and answer your own questions in the, in the group um, now as for a course Raymond's courses for spray wash are pretty cheap actually when, when you think about the information why and why do I say it's cheap well let's say for example what separates a small power washing company or a company who does ten thousand dollars a month or, or less uh, versus a company who's doing thirty to forty thousand dollars per month, and I think it really starts with the education. The, the forty thousand dollar per month guy, if, if he were making ten thousand dollars a month, if he were put it back in that situation and he still had the knowledge, I, I can almost guarantee you that within a couple months he would be back at the stage that he was at, making a couple or making thirty or forty thousand dollars per month. A lot of it does have to do with equipment. But again, it comes back to knowledge. If you know what to do, what what type of equipment to buy, when to buy it, what types of chemicals to use, how to do upsells, how to really market yourself, you'll be right back at that point. Now, getting back to this, what separates the, the small guy from the big guy? Well, let's say the small guy only knows about sodium hypochlorite, or he only knows about pressure washing. So he can do concrete, he can remove dirt, and he can remove organic matter, but that's about it, maybe spider webs, right? But then on the other hand, you've got a guy who knows he knows about gutter butter. He knows how to remove oxidation from gutters, how to remove oxidation from siding, right? Or you've got a guy who knows how to remove rust. Or, you know, he knows how to remove remove rust. He knows how to remove efflorescence. Well, now all of a sudden, when he goes to a homeowner, you know, maybe he also knows how to remove, remove rust remover, or not rust remover, but he knows how to remove graffiti or, or, or paint in general, right? Now he goes to do an estimate, and a, a normal house wash that would have cost $400, maybe it's got some rust on it. So he says, you know, he upsells rust remover for an extra 200 bucks, or, or he upsells uh, oxidation remover from the siding or from the gutters for an extra 300 bucks. You stack these wins on top of each other, and, and that's easily, I mean, you could easily make an additional three to $4,000 a month just in upsells, just in upselling uh, oxidation remover or rust remover or efflorescence remover you know and it goes on there's all different kinds of things that when you know what you're doing you can remove all this extra stuff and it's gonna lead to upsells but like I said at the beginning of the video that I can see it from both sides though 
you know, spending the money on Raymond Raymond's course, I think is a, a good investment. And if you have the money, you should do it. But if you don't have the money, or if you only have a small amount of money, use that money for equipment. Use that money to get your downstream injector, or to get a four gallon a minute machine, or to get you know a trailer if that's what you need, or or, or a van before you go get that. Because now I still think education is extremely important. In fact, education is the most important thing. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you're not going to do anything. But you can get the education for free. Like I said at the beginning, you've got uh, Rob Anderson from Clean Power Wash. When I very first started, I probably watched every Rob Anderson video I could find. And, and because he put out good information. And Rob Anderson, the reason I like him so much is because he doesn't, he's not trying to sell anything. Now, I don't have a problem with anybody who tries to sell anything. I don't. Because I, I sell stuff, you know, I, I sell power washing, I sell websites, I sell all kinds of stuff, right? So I don't have a problem with that, but I just liked Rob Anderson because I didn't feel like, I, I didn't feel like there was any kind of motive to his videos. I just felt like he was genuinely trying to help me and that's why I like him. Um, the guy from Southeast Softwash, I don't remember his name, but I know he does, he makes some good videos too. John Lang was another guy. Uh, John Lang was really relatable and I liked his videos and he put out good content. And these guys are just, they, they tell you how to clean roofs, they tell you how to do it correctly. And if you're not sure about one guy, go watch four other videos on how to clean roofs and see what are the similar, you know, what are the silver lining between all these videos? You know, does he start at the top? Does he get on the roof? Does he does he do it from the ladder? You know, what kind of surfactant does he use? Does he use a lot of surfactant? Does he bag up the gutters? Does he use um, uh, does he use a bleach neutralizer when he's done at the downspouts? You know, what 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 strength mix does he use? Does he batch mix? Does he use a proportioner? You know. Uh, all, all these different types of things. What kind of pump does he use? And these are all things that you can watch all these videos and you can see the silver lining. And you can see, you know, if a guy's, if a guy's kind of bullshitting or if he doesn't really know what he's doing, by the time you've watched six, seven, eight videos, you can kind of tell. Like, you'll, you'll already know how to clean a roof within a day by just watching a couple videos. You know, or, or same, same, same thing with soft washing, you know? Should you use a downstream injector? Should you use an X-Jet? Should you use a 12-volt pump, air diaphragm pump? These are all things that you can learn by watching video after video after video and it's all free on YouTube just by these guys who really it really seems like they just want to help it's like they're not not sure some of the guys and I like John Lang a lot by the way I because John Lang's pretty relatable now he sells marketing however assuming you know what you're doing and you know what you're gonna do with the marketing that marketing you buy from him will be useful to you you know it'll, it'll be beneficial to you you'll be better off after buying his marketing and I think he sells like lawn sign designs and, and um, door hangers and things like that if if you know what you're doing when it comes to hanging door hangers where to put lawn signs how to place lawn signs after a job getting permission then it's going to be helpful for you right but his, his, his videos are really good high quality videos in my opinion uh, and so and Rob Anderson's probably my favorite uh, just because that's what I first started watching uh, you, you know you've got the Rob Anderson um, and like I said, there are a bunch of other guys, but that's my take on education. Should you buy a course? If you've got the money for it, go for it. Do it. Go buy a course. Go to go to the huge convention. I know the huge convention in Atlanta this year is getting canceled. I, I wanted to go to a huge convention, and this was going to be my first year going to a convention. Obviously, I can't go this year because it, it's canceled. They're still doing it. Um, they're still doing the convention online, and if you want to do it, then, then, then do it. But... Um, kind of a bummer that they're not having it in person but if you have the money invest knowledge is your biggest asset that is by far the biggest asset um, that you have as, as a power washing company or as any as any business owner the knowledge that you have in your brain is what's going to set you apart uh, and, and really help you grow uh, so that's my take on that guys on education beginning do it use, use all the free education you can use from from YouTube um, and if you have the money and, and you, the desire go buy some education as well Thanks and have a great day.